Hi everybody, this is John with Aqua Security. I am here to give you a five minute rundown on our latest offering, Aqua Security for Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So the first thing you're gonna do is install Cloud Foundry, Pivotal, and then you're going to go look to the Pivotal network, find the tile, run through the tile upload install process. Documentation, of course, is all here. Um, there's a couple options that you need to tune. Number one that I want to point out is the license key. It's very, very important. Um, it will not install without a license. So we set up a portal where you can get, go and uh, click on this link here and go for a trial. Insert your key. You can use a different database than the one we provide, uh, location and, and other things. After that's all installed, you're going to go to the standard credential tab and pull the credentials for the app out of app out of there. Once it's all installed, you're going to end up with an Aqua server. The second piece of that is the build pack, which I'll go into in a moment. Um, the Aqua server itself is the place where you're going to uh, set up your registry locations, you're going to set up your image assurance policies, etc. And um, let's go to the build pack that utilizes these. So what triggers this actual scan is going to be setting environment variables to tell the scanner where the server is. So we've got a scanner username and password. All they can do is run scans and report. That's all they can do. Um, tell us where the server is, what registry in, the, in our GUI, in the system here you're going to set up. And then um, you can actually see the uh, um, Aquasec, Aquasec decorator is already installed because that was there as part of the tile. I should be, make one really good point here is that uh, the decorator is independent of the tile. We could upload a different one in different areas and use one server somewhere if you wanted to, or you can have a server in different locations. Everything in our GUI has an API tied to it. You can deploy these automatically, load policy automatically. We scale very, very well. So while we're doing that, let's do a push. And we'll see what happens there. So while that's running, I'm going to go to image assurance policies and you see my default is to always look for sensitive data things like RSA keys I'm always looking for malware and I'm looking for OSS licenses and that kind of thing that's my default everything in and out of my system gets those settings um, I also have the ability to do things by score and required packages and specific blacklists all of that kind of stuff but I do that specific to this registry by filtering here, Aqua Registry PCF 2.0, right? So I've got a CV blacklist control, and I don't want anything higher than a 5.5 to go through. Um, and that's all I'm looking for in this specific demo. So if I go back to images now, and bad, let's get that one going while I describe the rest. And uh, we can filter on 20, 2.0, here we go. So now I got the good gap. Um, we didn't find anything bad. It all looks okay. No bad licenses, etc. Resources, no bad, no malware, none of that. Just your standard environment information, etc. So if we come back and wait for this to finish, if we look at the logs on that app, we'll see the tail end of it is oh. This app failed policy assurance checks. Well, let's see why. What did we fail? Bad says, it's green, doesn't have any bad code, but it was disallowed because of that RSA key that got left over inside that application. So we stopped that from occurring. We stopped it from running. That's good. And the standard out is all listed right here. So if you read up a little bit in the log, you will see exactly what happened. And we'll see exactly the same information you saw on the console there. So uh, developer gets that immediate feedback loop at standard out. Uh, one of the other things I want to point out is what it looks like when CVE data or some other policy is violated. So we'll go to a vulnerability score here. This one was rejected based on a score of 8.5. Ooh, that's not good. And we'll see, see 15095, that looks like one. So the vendor score for the specific issue is 8.5, but the NVD is actually 7.5.
So the difference here is that that's a little bit of information that that Aqua provides versus uh, trying to compile this information on your own. As, as we look at many, many sources and we tell you which is worse, right? Um, give you that information. So um, that's one of the benefits of using the Aqua system. So thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions, hit www.aquasec.com.